Okay, anchors away. Welcome to Big D Country. Welcome. Uh, this is your local one with our Prince DJ. And yeah, I just came back from the doctors. Yeah, okay. But Prince DJ, you're doing week three, the prediction. Okay, so I did the aftermath when I came to the do- uh before I went to the doctors, and I'm doing the uh, week three prediction. But hey, who counting? Uh, so, I wanted to see about the swelling on my other leg, but according to Dr. George, uh, George is his name, by the way, but he did have two beautiful nurses. One is an older, older lady, and then there's another one who was an, uh, another uh, beautiful one was a uh, young one. It looked like she came fresh out of nursing school, and um, very be- both of them were very beautiful, uh, very sweet. Uh, so he told me that, uh, suspected, I say, oh, oh, well, to me, I just keep saying, oh, I hope that it's early on Friday since I'm only, uh, almost 50 and almost elderly. And sure enough, yes, it was arthritis or probably, probably signs of early arthritis. And then, uh, I lost weight and he said that probably, and said that was bone because I lost weight. I was like, what? Wow. So, yeah, so I, obviously, you know, the other leg was normal. I said I didn't care about that leg. The, the leg that was bothering me was one of the side of my leg. <coughs> Allergies. Anyway, yikes. But, uh, yeah, so, um, as what happened was, yeah, I told him about the, uh, the what happened, and I told him about the lump on, on my neck, but I told him it went down. Uh, way before I had this appointment, uh, he told me to monitor uh, both the uh, my neck and then monitor my leg. So I said I could do that. Thanks, thank God it probably could be uh, all uh, ooh, not all timers, but arthritis. I was about to say that a lot of people have arthritis in old age. It's common. It's pretty common. So, uh, so other than that. So I will definitely monitor. It looks like we're gonna get uh, get along. Uh, I was telling him my concerns and everything like that. That uh, pretty seen down to earth. And uh, usually when I do go to these things, it's usually like a uh, maybe not even a, not even a half an hour, but uh, about uh, yeah, not even half an hour, but maybe a few minutes. And this one was really thorough. And even though I already pre-checked in online yesterday like I normally do for a flight uh but other than that yeah it was pretty friendly everybody was pretty friendly and even the check was pretty friendly here's what I weigh this would make me a, a a midway but I'm still obese but I weighed 223 like before I was like 234 or 240 something I forgot what it was because I haven't been weighed uh, in a while, so this was my first way in since forever, but 223 is my weight, and yes, my blood pressure is high, uh, 130, 137 over 110, and all like that, uh, pulse rate is very fast, 120, and, you know, yeah, surprising that I'm still here, but anyway, anyway, I still can't, play, I still can't go over the 223 part, I still can't get over that, but I don't know how the heck that made me obese when I don't even have food at the time. I don't, I, 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 I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. So, uh, so now in case I need them, I could either go to them eight weeks uh, for now, or I could go to the urgent care, or I could go to the ER at UTMB. So I'm established. I have a doctor now, yada, 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 and a partner at Dental Pantry. Yes, I did a Christmas song, but I did not sing it. Notice, notice that I did not sing it. But anyway. And what is up with my phone batteries? Every time I go out somewhere, it always want to go down. It doesn't want to stay. But I could be charged all night. Ever since I made fixtures to the phone, I had to turn on data saver. That sort of kind of worm. And then there was one day that I was cleaning up the phone like three times, three or four times. And then when I come to the doctor's office, all they want to go do is go down. I was like, what the hell are you doing? Come on. And then I still had to wait for the ride to come back. And then 
did you know that in some places you had to pay to park even at a doctor's office? Yeah. You had to pay to park in the doctor's office. I was being like there's me and there's other patients that being dropped off or picked up. You know, a lot of us don't even have cars. We either use the medical medical uh you know, medical ride share and then others we use Lyft or Uber or whatever. And then they still had to press a button just to get out. They were like waiting forever just to get out. I was like, what the heck are you doing? Come on. It is still hot. I'm tired. I want to I wanna go back to the second palace. Well, I didn't say that term because uh, the lady diver didn't know about my program. But anyway, <laughs> but I want to get back to the second palace. It's still too hot. And my ID didn't even come in yet. I wanted my ID. It said it was coming by a foreign delivery. It did it before my voter registration card. I had to wait the whole weekend to get my voter registration card, which I did. And now I got to wait the next day, hopefully, for my ID. Because it said it was coming. It says it's here. Then why did you do that? 